man, the devil's trying to ratchet it up. See, he, know, he knows this is my season. He knows this is my season, so his thing is turning me out. If I put that bitch back in prison, right, she can't make no appearances, she can't make no money, then I really turn her out. Bitch, yes, that, that's what he wants. I really got her. She can't do no more lives, no more videos, and I can come on live and say how I turned this bitch out and how I got that bitch back in prison. Now, I'm gonna get a name off of that. And I'm gonna start vlogging. And I'm gonna be the bitch, and I'm gonna pop up, man. That girl, for, for what? I mean, I mean, but this is how serious some of these people take it, right? They're not playing. This is how serious some of these people are, are willing to go. Yes. Well, I got that bitch. I turned her out. Now let me come on out and start vlogging and talking about how I turned this bitch out and got her right together. Mother foo foo. Mm, 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 mm. Sup Virgo, I'm here to do your reading. If you got Virgo placement, tap in. Virgo, thank y'all for all y'all birthday wishes. I'm overwhelmed. I'm really overwhelmed by all the love, though. For real, for real. Because I just feel... It's like, no, let me stop, Virgo. I just... Uh, it's just like, I'm thankful. I'm very grateful for uh, all of you. And uh, happy birthday to you. If you celebrated your birthday, happy birthday to you. If your birthday is to come, happy birthday to you. I wish you well. Um, let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. So I have some notes here. Um, I'm also getting karma. Karma is really getting with these people. You might be like, he, you know, we don't worry about no bright karma. We don't, you know, really go digging into seeing, you know, what someone's karma is because we're too focused on ourselves. Nine times out of ten, you know, we're too focused on our own businesses and what we have going on. Not my little I was knocked the fuck over. Some so somebody trying to knock you the fuck over. Somebody trying to slump you, Virgo. Somebody trying to put you down or some shit like that. Stay prayed up, you know, up your protections, whatever the case it may be. I feel these people are um they're not they're not, you know, they're not too crazy. You know, Virgo, I feel they don't have the mental capacity necessary to truly know, you know, what truly goes on out here in the world. Something like that. Take it how it resonates, Virgo. Um, I feel these people aren't armored uh, as you are. <laughs> so, Virgo, karma. Karma is really tapping these people on the ass. You might be like, Key, how you know? Virgo, I was in a barbershop and... My barber like, you know, somebody such and such from your past asked me for some money. I'm like, huh? My barber? So, like, it may resonate with you. Like, these people from your past, like, they, they may be uh, reaching out for help. Like, they may be reaching out to ask you for some help. Ask the people around you for some help. Take it how it resonates. But these motherfuckers are going through it. They're being hit up in their pockets. That's where they're going to be held up first. See, that's where they're always held up first. It's going to be their numbers and their pockets. You rule everything as far as services go. If they're on your platforms and they're bashing you, you're going to hold them up spiritually. I see many of you doing this already. I see many uh, people reaching out to you <laughs> for your help as we speak. And uh, use your discernment when it comes to helping these people, Virgo. I'm getting an energy here um, of where you can only pray for these people. I feel you can only do that. I also had a store encounter, Virgo. It was so funny. I had a little encounter in a store, right? And um, he was like, let me pay for your stuff. He was like, get some more stuff. Let me pay for your stuff. And I'm like, you see how the Lord can bless you? Like, God will bless you when you're least expected. And I had a little attitude going in the store too. You know me. God throwing a mean mug when you walk in the store, especially in my location. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this message uh, is very beneficial or will be very beneficial to you, Virgo. Up your protections. Something about your protections here. Um, I feel like, uh, many of you could be 
doing something spiritually. I'm getting the Ten of Pentacles very strongly or someone's trying to tap into your Ten of Pentacles energy. Take it how it resonates. Someone really like wants to get like inside. I'm getting someone wants to infiltrate. Um, let's get into your read though. Let's get into the read. Let's pull some cards. I'm getting you're uninterested in this person. I also seen someone, um, someone's angry with you, Virgo, because of something that you said. Something that you said has like a domino effect and it affected a group of people. Okay, I don't know um, who your target was or whatever your, you know, I don't know what your target was or what your end goal was, but the message got to that person and I'm getting very strongly. Let's see, um, let's pull some cards for you. Someone feels um, as if you're only talking because you have a platform, because you have a voice. It's like, when I heard that, like when I heard these words come out of this person's mouth, it's like my, my jaw hit the floor. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? Not talk at all? Not voice your opinion at all? Who the fuck are these people? That's like what I'm picking up on. That's the energy that I'm truly getting, Virgo, from this whole situation. Let's see. Let's pull some cards. Yeah, I see you moving on or you know that someone's fake flexing. Something about finances here. These people are being held up financially in all areas. Let's see. I'm getting specifically air signs. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're being held up. Um, you have player here and moving on. Yeah, so you could be moving on here from someone. Uh, this could be uh, someone that you deem as a player or playing both sides when it comes to you. I'm also getting moving. I see you moving here, Virgo. Um, you might just be packing your bags and going on a trip. Many of you may be coming from a trip, something like that here. Could be ending your vacation uh, now, Virgo. You could be flying back to the state, something like that. I'm also getting facts here, um, or no facts. Someone never has the facts. This person, they never have facts. They, they barely even know how to wipe their ass for themselves. This is what I'm truly getting. So you could be dealing with someone who's very immature. Or this could even be a child. There's a child who's playing games. Or you could just view this person as very childlike. Someone's also, um, cre uh, what is it, creativity munching here. So someone's still trying to steal your ideas. Yeah, your Ten of Pentacles. Someone's trying to get up in your Ten of Pentacles because they're bankrupt. Something like that, Virgo, is what I was picking up on strongly. Yeah, dirt digging. They're digging for dirt on your ass. They're trying to get up into your, your Ten of Pentacles. So this could be your family, your lineage. Um, my condolences to uh, PNB Rock. He from my city, and that's a big L for my city. My condolences to his family. Um, Virgo, that's, I feel that could be like another like a uh, message for you stay stay prayed up and stay protected at all times especially my entertainers my rappers tell your people around you at all times because this shit is getting crazy i feel these people are truly losing their minds <laughs> i feel it's almost like virgo people say we're crazy but it's like are we really <laughs> are we really I feel these people are losing their fucking minds in different ways. And I'm getting quick and I'm getting it's gonna get worse. I feel as the world evolves more spiritually, like people are going to, to tap into energies and spirits <laughs> that are not for, for the good. Something about our armor, Virgo. We have to, to put on that armor. We have that armor. We have to put on that protective gear. Something about arms here let's see yeah fake accounts so i'm getting someone's extending themselves to you they're watching you through fake accounts so someone's always watching you so i'm getting like someone's literally holding their phone up like this watching you many of you could be on platforms many of you could be uh influential uh it's an air sign here they're dirt digging on you they're playing a game when it comes to you Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, what I'm getting here is they're constructing or conspiring against you. Yeah, so fake flexing. They're fake flexing here. I'm getting you're very stable. You're very Ten of Pentacles energy, and they're not. So someone lied, like they were very stable. They were very, you know, Ten of Pentacles all the way around. 
you know, was given Ten of Pentacles, Hierophant, you know, marriage, Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, lovers. They felt this way, or at least they thought this. And I'm getting that's not the case. Yeah, same shit, different day with this person. This person always looks for dirt on you. This person always stalk, uh, is always stalking you. Yeah, they're fake flexing. That's what I'm getting, Virgo. Whoever the fuck this is. It could be an NBA player. This person could play basketball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so someone could be very obsessed with you. It could be a basketball player. Many of you could be, uh, you could have dated uh, an NBA player or something like that. They're stalking you and they're crying over you. Whoever the fuck this is. So this could be someone who's very athletic. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. They're fake flexing and they're clout hungry. I'm also getting their happiness hater. Your light, something about your light is exposing their demons. I'm getting like a domino effect here when it comes to this person, whoever you're dealing with. Let's get more information here. Here we go. So you have into you, good chemistry, great vibes. So, and you have fed up underneath the deck. So someone's into you, but I'm getting you could be fed up with this person. It's like a, you could be dealing with a, um, an obsessive lover. You know how motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm going to kill myself. If you do this, I'm going to kill myself. You know how motherfuckers be. I'm getting you could be dealing with somebody like that. I don't know here. Someone's into you. They're into you maybe too much. Someone's so into you, they could be dimming your light. Something about possessiveness here. They're possessive over you. Someone is possessive, but you're fed up with them or they're fed up with you. It's like, huh? Whoa. Whoa. Family issues. See, they're being held up. They have issues in the family, everything. As far as services go, they will be held up. Because I feel these people tried to hold you up, Virgo, to a certain capacity. And it's like, okay, you want to hold the Virgo up? One moment. One moment. One motherfucking moment. Now they be a sweat. With karma, that karmic wheel is piercing. Someone's on that wheel. That wheel will not slow down. Heavy emphasis on um, rides, like um, circus rides and shit. In the springtime, I'm getting something about don't, don't, don't even look at none of them rides. If you're planning on going anywhere in the world, because you know it's different weather, you know, all over the world. If you plan on going to uh, any type of uh, amusement park and getting on them rides, I would think again. That's just what I'm picking up on. Yeah. Happiness hater. Yeah, because shit is shit is plotted and planned. Yeah. The darkness is working. Those dark forces, they are working. Just with the, just with your light forces. You think your light is the only thing that's working on that's working out here. Uh-uh. It's dark forces everywhere you go. You can walk to the gas station and you won't pick up on the dark force. If you're from the hood, you know it's nothing but dark forces in the hood. Heavy emphasis on L.A. Something about L.A. at this time. Be very careful in them L.A. streets. What they call it, the city of angels? Why? Why is it the city of angels? Why? Why? A girl fight and moves in silence. Arguments, physical fights, at war and competing. Ain't nothing but a bunch of competition out there. Father Swords energy. What we going to LA for? They be like, oh, we gonna get rich and move to LA. Okay. What's the difference? No disrespect to the people out LA. I love LA, it's beautiful. But they say it's some energy there. I feel you should be aware of this, Virgo. Many of you. I feel many of you could be aware. Yeah, nightmares, insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things, bags under eyes. See? There's demons out there. They said city of angels. I'm getting demons. A lot of shady shit that goes on out there. Heavy emphasis on LA. This person could be in LA. Something about LA here. Or a specific location. 
it doesn't have to be LA. So this could be a, a, a location in your area where you get like a lot of negative energy. The demons are out. That's what I will say, Virgo. You're giving money. They want money. Someone wants money from you, but I'm getting you blocked this person. You've ghosted them. Karma is hitting these people, Virgo. Do not think karma is not. Do not think God is not working for you because God is. He's working for you. I'm getting over time. Let's see. Let's get some oracles for you, Virgo. And I'm going to wrap this up. Um, let's see. Yeah, expectation again. So someone has an expectation when it comes to you. It's an older woman. It's a mature woman here. This mature woman has an expectation. Maybe when it comes to your businesses, I'm getting you're carrying a, a, a legacy here, Virgo. But you have a thief amongst you. You're carrying a legacy, but this thief, they stay trying to go in your pocket. It could be a mature man here. Mm -hmm. Something about an ending surrounding a mature man. My condolences to PNB Rock. That's an L for the city. Like, I keep picking up on that energy. Mm. They judging his girlfriend. They judging her ass. You can only judge her. The way that karmic will will play out, you can only judge her. That's what I'm seeing. Because she had thoughts. Something about, let me not even get into that. Um, yeah, gift, Virgo. You're going to be gifted. The more these people try to attack, attack your ten of pentacles, attack your stability, the more you will be gifted from the universe. You're going to be hand given some something here. Many of you could be uh, given an actual like physical gift. I'm getting physicality here. So you could be, um, someone could be handing you something. This could be for your birthday. You could be getting a present. Happy birthday to you, Virgo. He yeah, a message here. You could be getting a, a message of imprisonment when it comes to a, a wealthy man. Yeah, this person is false here. Yeah, great fortune when it comes to your businesses, Virgo, is what I'm seeing. And many of you, this could be a love situation. You will be very fortunate in love. Yeah, I'm getting great fortune here for you, Virgo, all the way around the board. I feel like because you've done your work. Yeah, I'm getting a message of concern here surrounding a, an official person. Someone could be working on you. Like someone could be spiritually working on you and they're in despair. So it's like, yeah, I'm getting a death here. Someone's working on you. They're, they're in despair. It could be an older woman or someone who's married. This could be someone who lives behind gates. Something about um, deliberations here in a family room. These people are deliberating about you. Someone wants to steal something from you. Be very careful, Virgo. I'm going to say up your protections. Someone wants to take something from you that could be very valuable. I'm getting it'll never work. We're going to put that in the ethers. It'll never work. It'll stop before it's even started. I feel because you're uh, you're very divinely guided and protected, Virgo. Let's see. Let's get into the, to the uh, tarot. Yeah, someone's mad as fuck. King of Wands reverse. It's the King of Wands reverse here. He's mad. He's upset and he's a liar. So this person is a liar. Their perception is you. They feel that, that you're very reckless here. It's the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They're a liar. This person, um, this could be any person. Doesn't have to be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person is just always angry. This is a mad motherfucker. I'm getting um, someone's very dispassionate about their work as well. So you could identify who this may be. Eight of Cups energy could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or someone could have been fired from work. Someone no longer works. I'm also getting someone's um, conning. Someone's conning someone uh, of money here. Could be at work. Someone only uh, makes relationship, only makes relationships with people at work to con them. Yeah. So someone only talks at work to con them. So if this is someone at your job, they're just trying to con you. 
out of your king of pentacles energy out of your comfortability yeah with the ace of cups i'm getting creativity here or a love offer could be from a, a virgo taurus or capricorn or aries leo or sagittarius i'm getting someone's very dispassionate here when it comes to uh some type of hate surrounding uh your forward movement someone's hating on your forward movement virgo or your recognition in a way i'm getting you're being recognized for something they're hating let's see Why are they hating because you're being recognized? I'm confused. We be confused because we be so in our shell. We be so in hermit mode. When we come out and see some shit, we be like. Huh? Where the fuck is this coming from? Knight of Pentacles? Motive. Someone has motive here. Someone's money is moving in slowly as well. Six of, six of wands? Yeah, so someone views you as uh, being in the six of wands, being very victorious, getting patronized, people um, agreeing with you, and people are on your side. People recognize this, so they want to exchange with you, which could be very unexpected with the um, four of wands and the six of pentacles. Why would this be unexpected? <coughs> Why would this be unexpected? the four of cups because you're discontent with this person someone's discontentment here someone's discontentment here i'm getting uh you could have turned down this person's offer you the four of swords and the five of pentacles someone's hiding something here yeah someone's hiding that they betrayed you in relationship this is the karma that's tapping them on their ass. So someone's getting hit up with karma. They're on that wheel. I'm getting something about malfunctions as well. Something has malfunctioned in a relationship. Be very careful. Someone could be trying to slip something in a drink. Someone could be trying to put something in a drink here. You're the high priestess, the nine of pentacles. You could know this. Someone could be trying to do something with food as well. Someone could be shopping. Many of you could be shopping for food. I'm getting something surrounding an ending here. It's a relationship. So something has ended. A karmic relationship. So if you're dealing with a karmic person, if you're dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that relationship has ended. I'm getting it's it's not real. Clarify that. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Someone has walked away from this relationship here. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Someone could feel very challenged by a certain investment. So I'm getting there was an investment to end you, Virgo. There was an investment to really bring you down. And there and someone's getting out of Dodge. Someone could be divorcing. Someone wants no fucking parts. Someone knows that karma is hitting and they're getting out of Dodge quickly. Like I'm getting an energy here where like you may see someone arguing and like... Like they get embarrassed that you caught them arguing or like someone's arguing with their spouse and it's like that person that's arguing, they're kind of embarrassed that you're seeing them argue. It's like weird like that. They don't want you to know what's going on in their relationship, Virgo. It's bullshit going on. I'm getting an ending. Someone has ended things and walked away from this person. Yeah, the two of wands, queen of swords. Could be an Aquarius energy here. Yeah. Someone knows that someone's toxic. I'm getting like someone sick sits. Mm, sick. Someone's sick. Someone sits in toxicity. They sit in demonic energy. Someone sits like they sit in a specific place and they obsess over you. Someone's being filled with toxicity because they can only sit and think about you. They can no longer think about themselves. I'm getting it could be a spirit that they called on. The devil card? They called on a specific uh, spirit. They made some type of investment here. You know, five of wands energy to cause conflict in your life. But instead, it's like, yeah, it's hitting them. It's attacking them emotionally. You have the star card and the king of pentacles. It's definitely affecting their, their star power or their fame or their comfortability. I'm getting they are no longer comfortable because of this investment. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Spirit wants to tell me that's the truth. Wants me to tell you that's the truth. <laughs> Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Their comfortability has been affected extremely. 
a marriage has been affected as well. I'm getting many people are gossiping about this person. This person is being deliberated against. There are deliberations um, surrounding this person's forward movement. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands and the Moon card. I'm getting illusions around the delay. It's really because of creativity. This person can't be creative. Someone wants to uh, make you an offer of love, but they can't. Someone has trouble manifesting. That's the problem. They have trouble manifesting. So someone could have um, a payee. Someone could have someone who um, takes care of them. Someone has a handler. Take it how it resonates. Virgo, you have three of pentacles energy and the nine of wands, definitely. So someone feels very challenged when it comes to work. Someone needs help here. They have to, you know, have like a third person, a third party. Yeah, with the temperance and the nine of, uh, I'm sorry, and the three of swords. Someone has betrayed you. A Sagittarius is here. They, they realize something about recklessness. They're watching from afar and calling judgment with the Ten of Cups energy. There's someone around you. There's an angel, an angel's presence around you who's calling BS. This could be someone that you look up to or look down to, yeah. This person finds you to be very victorious. I'm getting chills. Someone's at your defense here. Virgo. That's what I'm seeing. This is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box so y'all can book that personal reading. And remember, you get 25% off any reading on the website until October 1st. All right, Virgo. I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all take care, and I hope this serves you well.